Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday, March 21st, 2023. I shall be reading to y'all the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 1 through 25, and the Acts of, I mean, Revelation of St. John, um, chapter 21, verses 1 through 27. I don't know why I decided to say, um, Acts of the Apostles. <laughs> Maybe I was thinking I was in the Gospel of Luke. Who knows? Anyway, this is the last day for the Gospel of John, but not the last day for John and Ruth's books. Gospel of John, chapter 21. Book 4, Epilogue, The Resurrection Appearance in Galilee, Chapter 21, The Appearance to the Seven Disciples. After this, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea, uh, sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called, uh, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have we caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and they were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you, you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was, it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. Jesus and Peter. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to him a second time, Simon, son, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Beloved Disciple 
Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who, who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern of it is what concern is it of uh, of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die, but Jesus had not told him that he would not. Not, but Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just, what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it? Uh, what concern is it of yours? Conclusion: It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and there we know his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did. But if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. That was the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 1 through 25. Now on to Revelation, chapter 21. Revelation, St. John, chapter 21. Book 6, The New Creation, Chapter 21, The New Heaven and the New Earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things anew. Then he said, Write these words down, for they are trustworthy and true. He said to me, They are accomplished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give a gift from the spring of life-giving water. The vicar will, will inherit these gifts, and I shall be his God, and he will be my son. But as for cowards, the unfaithful, the depraved, murderers, the unchaste, sorcerers, idol worshippers, and deceivers of every sort, their lot is in the burning pool of fire, uh, fire and sulfur, which is the second death. The New Jerusalem One of the seven angels who held the seven bowls filled with the seven last plagues came and said to him, Come here. I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out from heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was that of that its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with twelve gates where twelve angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the twelve tribes of, of, the, of the Israelites. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. Twelve in total. The wall of the city had twelve courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The one who spoke to me held a gold measuring rod to measure the city, its gates, and its wall. The city was square, its length the same as also its width. He measured the city with a rod and found it fifteen hundred miles in length and width and height. He also measured its wall, 144 cubits, according to the standard unit of, uh, unit of measurement the angel used. Uh, 
The wall was constructed of jasper, constructed of jasper, while the city was pure gold, clear as glass. The foundations of the city wall were decorated with every precious stone. The first course of stones was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, oh, the third, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardon, sardonyx. The sixth carnelian, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysophase, the eleventh hyacinth, and the twelfth and the twelve amethysts. The twelve gates were twelve pearls, each of the gates made from a single pearl, and the street of the city was of pure gold transparent as glass. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. The city had no need of sun or moon or to shine on it, for the glory of God gave it light, and its lamp was the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and to it the kings of the earth will bring their treasure. During the day its gates will never be shut, and there will be no night there. The treasure and wealth of the nations will be brought there, but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who does abominable things or tells or tells lies. Only those will enter whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. That was the Revelation to Saint of Saint John, chapter twenty one, verses one through twenty seven. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the, tomorrow's video, which will be the last one of Bruce and John's books um, for the for March. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. God bless.